What's up, Wastelanders? This is not Three Dog. Uh, I've been playing Fallout 3 lately. I, but I went into the CK for um, for Fallout 4 and I needed to find a cell in a creation kit that I have seen in game. So this is a quick tutorial on how you can find locations inside the game that you come, come across. Uh, I'll find them later in, in creation kit. Sorry, I'm not explaining this very well. You'll see it in a minute. Uh, prerequisite for this is that since Fallout 4, this will also work in Skyrim, since Fallout 4 has pre-combined meshes, so you know all the ex exterior sort of like trees and rocks and everything have been rebuilt into just one giant mesh for each cell. Uh, you won't be able to like click trees with the console or rocks and you know re disable them unless you have this init tweak. The init tweak is B use combined objects is zero. I have it usually for one because I, it, it gives me a bit better performance. Uh, you, you want to tweak your Fallout 4 ini and if it's one or if it's not there at all in your ini file you need to put this line in there and it won't let me save now because I've set my Fallout 4 ini as read only but yeah make sure you have this let's uh, let's fix this don't save um, documents documents find games Fallout 4 Fallout 4 ini file properties not read only go and change this to zero. Fuck ass. There we go. Now it's changed. Make it read only again so that the Fallout doesn't fuck with it. Now we are able to select items that are pre-built in the game already. And all we gotta do now is go in game and find the location we want. So I have this location and I've already found it. It's this house. And uh, I have no idea where the house is. Like, I, I, I know I have it on the map in game, but I need to be able to find that house in the creation kit so I can edit it. So here we are in the game, in the location that I want to, to build into. I have naked dance and naked Longfellow with me for some reason. I have some mods disabled and they lost their armors. Anyway, now that the ini tweak has been made, I'm able to select trees in game or anything really, any any static objects. Can I just say uh, you can test that you click the right object by trying disable. There we go, I disabled the house, enable. Disable, enable, now it's back. Uh, so I have the right house. I want to find this house in CK later and build on it. All you need to do is when this ID code is up, you click the house, you get the ID up and take a screenshot of it. Or if you don't want to take a screenshot, you can just write that ID down, like on a piece of paper. The main thing is that you need this ID to use for a search in creation kit so now i have that i can close it and go to fuck off go to ck i suggest that you load the world space cell before you do this because once you do this it's gonna take forever to load the exterior cell that you're you're trying to find trust me i just did it before i i already recorded this video once and it brought my entire computer down with it. It stopped recording, my audio got fucked up, my music died, everything was a huge mess for like five minutes until it was done loading the cell. So you go to edit and you go to find text. You find your screenshot. Three four D nine one. Ah, uh, what? There we go. 
Uh, now there you see these tabs under it. We are searching for objects, obviously. If you were searching for something else, it would be under these tabs, but right now it's under objects. Find text. Now it searches for a while, and there we go. Building front siding in cell wilderness. <clears throat> now we're gonna click this, double click it, and it should start loading the cell here in the render window. So it's gonna sort of teleport you in the render window into the cell that you needed. Obviously I did it before I started this record this video. I already loaded this cell into creation kit so that I would find it properly and I wouldn't need to wait another 10 minutes, you know, to find it. So here we are. The house is selected for me already. Always remember that working in the render window on exteriors on Fallout 4 is extremely laggy. So if you have really serious issues, you can turn off or on the markers, you know, the M key on the keyboard that brings up the markers. You can just disable those. It will give you a bit of, it will lag a bit less. This also happens in interiors, I think. But hey, look, we have our house and now we can start building. Uh, since it's a wilderness cell, you can rename it, because this is just a generic thing. So I'm going to rename it to zero, which will help me find it easier later. Zero Ellie House X. There we go. Now, when I browse the cells, it's going to show up at the top here, because it has the zero in front of the name. And that's it. You're ready to go. I'm going to start modding this and build a nice little cafe, bookstore, player home here. You'll be able to see it at the end of the week, hopefully. And I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it useful. If you have any other questions, just let me know, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye-bye!